We're going to talk about hybrid search engines in this edition of the Jenkins Law Library Video Tip of the Week. What do I mean by hybrid search engines? Well, let me talk to you about the other end of the spectrum. Google has gone all algorithmic. They figure that the humans create the algorithms, but they don't intervene in the results page. Find the best feels that there needs to be humans tinkering with the results page because there are things that you can't do totally algorithmically. And so what they use humans to do is to pick the topics that they want to display on their website and then the data points that they want to include in the infographics that they create. For example, let me show you their smartphone infographic. This is a comparison of all the smartphones and they have picked the uh, data points that they want to compare on and they, they default to the smart rating but there's other data points like price and screen size and so forth that you can you know rank by. Not only that you can say well for example give me all the Android phones uh, on T-Mobile so you've now limited to a specific uh, carrier, specific um, type of operating system, and then again you can re-rank according to whatever data points that you're interested in. Not only that, you can embed this into a blog post or on your website. So this is a really neat search engine. Um, in the family tree of Google Squared, Google Squared was a failed project by Google. They tried to do the same thing I just showed you totally algorithmically, and based on you know what I just said to you that sometimes you need human beings to sort of intervene and decide what topics to display you know this didn't really work without human intervention so it failed this is also in the same family tree as Wolfram Alpha I love Wolfram Alpha but they can be a bit geeky and sometimes overwhelm you with data so I think this is a nice middle path there not too much and not too little and actually compelling in the presentation okay now this is as I said you know consumer stuff but if you scroll down to the bottom of the page on find the best you'll see a link to find the data and find the data is uh, a, another website that they produce they scrape data from across the web and create again those kinds of info um, graphics for you. I'm going to pick one here on the main page campus safety and they ha create this infographic displaying and comparing campus safety statistics. Now um, most of this data they're getting from, and let me scroll down and show you, um, the US Department of Education's website. However they do some value added stuff. They calculate the crime rate percent. They tabulate all of the crimes together into one number and they include the number of, st uh, of students because if I go to the Department of Education's website and pull up Stanford for example, they give me some of this information but not all of it and I, you know, I would have to tabulate all this where find the data has done this for me and again I can embed this on a website or a blog so these are two very interesting um, search engines produced by the same company and it's a different approach to Google and it's one that you may want to choose for certain types of searches